Mm. Uh, my name is Scott Richardson. I am the Client Technology Supervisor at Lone Star College North Air. Pretty much all of our servers are virtualized and we literally have hundreds of them across the system. So really what the capacity of each individual one is isn't really a straightforward question. I it to say we have hundreds of terabytes if not uh, petabytes of storage available to us. Between campuses we have 10 gigabit pipes. Out to the internet we have 5 gigabyte pipes. And locally, from wired computer to wired computer on a campus, we have either uh, 100 megabits or a gigabit. We have around 88 computer labs. Um, across the whole campus, we have around 3,200 computers. <laughs> we do have a disability services slash assistive tech department on campus, which is primarily for students. They are the ones who basically facilitate getting the right hardware software to the right place where a student needs it to be. So we get a big chunk right at the beginning from the just overall budget uh, and then more when they break it down to the individual campus OTS offices. It also depends a bit on what technology is at each campus. Since we do regular technology refreshes, part of our budget does come from, from the individual department budgets that have technology. OTS uh, sponsors a grant we call the CTAC grant, and that one is funded by OTS. I believe the funds just basically come from the system level. And then uh, there are other just smaller grants. Um, I couldn't even begin to name them all, but uh, that faculty will go after themselves. Well, here in the library over the past couple of years since I've been here, we've uh, been awarded about $75,000 of grants. Uh, to fund some technology projects that we've been working on and some of them are focused on just sort of technology other ones are focused on um, student training and staff training uh, we were awarded a grant to buy a 3d printer and uh, we were awarded a grant right after that to fund a maker space and you know, by that I mean anything you can do when you walk into the space and what we've done with it is try to focus on how we can support the curriculum but we also have some fun things over there too so we have a lot of uh, 3d design that's our most popular uh, concept in the space so, and we also have uh, a virtual reality concept so there's a bunch of different things with that one, but uh, the most popular one is Oculus Rift. There's a lot of crafting supplies over there as well. Um, and, and we have a studio that was a second grant that we also made a part of the space. So a third grant, sorry, uh, for the One Button Studio, which is a really easy to use visual production studio. Anyone can use it. We won two portable smart boards uh, for student use in the library, and we've been teaching a series of soft skill workshops on those smart boards to help our students improve some of their soft skills. They're all from Lone Star College. <laughs> so uh, the CTEC grant, I believe, is from the um, Office of Technology Services, if I got that right. We won the Chancellor's grant, which is also which is obviously from the Chancellor's office. Uh, many grants, I think, are local to the college. And uh, so those are, the, most of them we've won were from, awarded through those. We also won a couple more to improve our virtual reality, reality stations, also from the college. Those are also with CTEC. So, uh, those were good technology grants. Basically, everything should theoretically start with a ticket, which is either generated by um, the person with the problem or through our help desk. A ticket would be sorted as either an incident or a task, basically an incident being a break in service and a task being anything else that's you know, supposedly less time sensitive. The tickets then come to us, either our queue manager or the individual checks can, techs can be checking it. It will be assigned to a tech who will go out, investigate, um, do what needs to be done. My name is LaShawn McCraig. I work for Lone Star College North Harris and I am the Client Technologies Technician 3. When I was part-time, mm -hmm. um, our ticketing system was SunGuard and it was outsourced. Mm -hmm. Then later on, early 2012 mostly, we went to ServiceNow, or as it's called for short, SNOW. And our help desk is internal, which is 24 hours, seven days a week. That's great because you know, somebody from Lone Star College System you're talking to. You're not talking to somebody way in Florida or way in Tennessee or Nevada. 
you're talking to somebody who and it's housed at University Park. So it's here, it's in the system, people know you, you don't have to worry about being afraid to give your information. Our management is very willing to try out uh, new pieces of technology. Um, sometimes we'll just come in one day and find that uh, we've purchased some new thing and uh, we're told, hey, see if we can find a use for this. Um, it, most recently, um, we got a, a Sprout computer from HP, which is basically a large stand-up imaging system that makes can basically make 3D models out of an object. And that was basically just purchased to uh, to see what we could do with it. And the library currently uses one, and we're going to deploy another one to the Visual Communications Department soon. I would say that we definitely have a reputation for kind of pushing the envelope for technology.